Hi everyone. So please subscribe the channel to get updates. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, physics 2025-26 second PUC model question paper one answers. So PU board released uh, in Karnataka three model papers. In that three first model paper answers we are discussing in this video. See first uh, MCQs answers. Uh, they mentioned in question number one now. Uh, the electric flux over a closed surface enclosing a charged particle is minus q by 6 epsilon naught. So minus q by 6 epsilon naught they mentioned. The charge of the particle is. See generally according to Gauss law pi is equals to q enclosed by epsilon naught. So if you compare this 1 by epsilon naught here 1 by epsilon naught same. What is the Q enclosed here extra? Q enclosed is equals minus Q by 6. So the answer is option C minus Q by 6 answer. Next the second one they are asking uh, two capacitors of capacitance C1 and C2 are connected in parallel to an external source of potential difference V. The equation which is not applicable for the given combination is. So in this uh, Different different uh, Q1 plus Q2, V1 plus V2, C1 plus C2, like that they mentioned. See, in parallel combination, uh, they mentioned. In this parallel combination means uh, V is same. V is same means V is equals V1 plus V2 not possible. That's why this B option is correct. Next, uh, in case of metals with increase in temperature, Metals uh, temperature increases means conductivity increases. In semiconductors temperature increases, conductivity also increases. In metals temperature increases, conductivity decreases. That's why which option is correct? Option A is correct. Next, uh, fourth one. A galvanometer can be converted into a voltmeter by connecting. Remember galvanometer we will connect to voltmeter by connecting a high resistance by converting what we want to convert galvanometer to voltmeter by connecting a high resistance in series with it we will convert galvanometer to ammeter means low resistance remember this here why high resistance means it will limit current we can measure voltage easily so final option for fourth question d a high resistance in series with it d option next to fifth one See here they mentioned paramagnetism, diamagnetism, ferromagnetism. Which one suitable we need to select. In this uh, first one R means uh, paramagnetism is a uh, sodium example. Next diamagnetism, magnetic properties common to all substances. Ferromagnetic, ferromagnetism means domain properties there in ferromagnetism. So that uh, option C is correct. Next uh, sixth one. We are taking sixth one. Magnetic flux is magnetic flux, you know, scalar quantity because it will come pi is equals to magnetic flux b bar dot a bar two vectors dot product scalar will come and it's SI unit Weber. Next seventh question. So sixth question answer is B. Seventh question. The resonance frequency of a NCR circuit remains constant even if there is any variation in the value. See, resonating frequency depends on only L and C. Does not depend on R. But options given in R also. That's why which option is correct? D is correct option. Seventh question, D. Eighth question. Electromagnetic waves are produced by Electromagnetic waves are produced always Accelerated charger. Option C. If it is rest position charge means only electric field. Uniform motion means both electric field and magnetic field. So remember this. Eighth one, C correct. Now ninth one. Real object is placed in between pole and principal focus, concave mirror. The image formed is virtual, erect and magnified. Option A is correct option. Okay. Next, tenth one. So you know, tenth one they are asking uh, Two waves coming from two coherent sources develop at a point to give maximum intensity. The phase difference between the superposing waves may be. Superposing waves means here 
we are taking c maximum intensity means pi is equals to n pi condition then now if you substitute 0 0 1 means 2 pi 2 means 4 pi 3 means 6 pi here uh, even multiple only one option is there 6 pi so that option b is correct next uh, identify the correct statement you know light waves uh, in this correct option is d light waves exhibit both diffraction and polarization diffraction and polarization interference also that's why d option is correct next up 12th one in a photoelectric experiment the graph related quantities straight line with slope equal to h by e we know stopping potential vse kinetic energy nothing but is equals energy minus work function so VSE stopping potential into E H nu minus pi. Vs if you take E is ending that side H by E pi by E will come. Here you observe this equation comparing with this. Y is equals Mx plus C. That means Y axis Vs, X axis nu if you take a, both will give straight line. So option C is correct one. Next up. The total energy of an electron revolving in nth orbit of hydrogen atom is the least for you know in hydrogen atom total energy formula en is equals to minus 13.6 by n square that means en is directly proportional sorry inversely proportional to n square if you take n is equals to 1 minus value will be more that's why for least most negative will come n is small so ground state orbit ground state means uh, n is equals to 1 so correct option for 13 B. Next, 14th one. An example for isobars is isobars example of same mass number. See here in options, the same mass number is there for only option D. That's why option D is correct. Next one. When a PN junction diode is reverse biased, reverse biased means you know both the depletion region width and barrier potential. What will happen? Increases. Forward bias means decreases. So, 15th one correct option is A. Next. Fill in the blanks. We will see. First one. The net magnetic moment acquired per unit volume of a sample is called magnetization. Next. Lenz law gives the dash of the induced EMF. Polarity of the induced EMF. Next. Phase difference between voltage and current. Pure resistive. Pure resistive means 0. Inductive capacitive means 90 degrees. Remember, 18th one, 0. Next, 19th one. The angle of incident ray light in denser medium is equal to critical angle than the angle of refraction in rarer medium. You know at which angle of, uh, the angle of incidence we are taking, no? At which angle of incidence the refracted ray grazes the surface. Their angle of refraction 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees is correct answer, 19th one. 20th, definition work function. The minimum energy required by an electron to escape from the metal surface is called what? Work function. So, this is about uh, all one mark questions answer. Now, we will discuss numericals. Uh, see in this uh, numericals we are discussing now uh, numericals uh, first one model paper one first numerical see what is the first numerical and if uh, model papers are not there means you can download uh, in my channel only I given link also model question papers link blueprints all subjects links given you can uh, download from that description uh, see a positively charged spherical conductor of radius spherical conductor radius given 0.1 meter and electric field given and that spherical conductor of uh, electric field at what distance means 0.2 meter means outside the spherical conductor spherical conductor radius is 0.1 no? electric field at 0.2 means outside the spherical conductor electric field given what is the initial charge one question second question no? Also find the magnitude of new charge on the same spherical conductor if 5 into 10 power 10 extra electrons are removed from it. Some electrons are removing from that spherical conductor then new charge they are asking. See first one 
a given data written you know formula electric field outside the spherical conductor formula this one e is equals 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r square from this e substituted 1 by 4 by epsilon naught substituted q as it is r value 0 0.2 square then from this q is equals multiplying this r remaining terms taking this side 0 0.2 whole square means 0 0.04 this also taken this side means by 9 into 10 power 9 if you simplify this you will get answer this much this is the initial charge so however small calculator allowed you can do calculation if any mistake is there also you can correct it process i am telling see amount of charge removed how many electrons removed 5 into 10 power 10 removed for each electron charge how much 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so this many electrons charge we want means we need to multiply number of electrons into charge of one electron then total charge how much removed we will get total charge how much removed 8 into 10 power minus 9 removed then uh, magnitude of new charge magnitude of new charge uh, initial charge q plus this many electrons removed means uh, electrons removed means same amount of positive charge that spherical conductor will gain so that we are taking here a uh, new charge on the spherical conductor uh, we are adding again initial charge plus after removing this many electron uh, same amount of positive charge will gain that spherical conductor so that adding here initial charge plus gained positive charge total charge this much will come okay next uh, 43 question number 43 the terminal potential difference of a cell connected to an external resistance of 4 ohm is 2.4 volt. When the same cell is connected to an external resistance 9 ohm, new terminal potential difference becomes 2.7 volt. Find EMF and internal resistance they are asking. See, given thing here written. Now, we know that terminal potential difference E minus IR. This one applying for case 1. First of resistance and terminal potential difference v1 is equals e minus v1 by r1 into r here i place we are writing of v by r by using ohms law so v1 taken 2.4 e don't know v1 again 2.4 by r given 4 ohm into r this one will give after simplification equation 1 we will get second case also same v2 is equals this one v2 by r2 substitution done we will get equation number 2. After that, uh, solving these two equations, uh, E will get cancelled. Whenever here minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.3 R will come. Finally, R we will get 1 ohm. This one, this R, small r value, you substitute in this equation number 1, R place, you will get EMF 3 volt. Okay. This is about 43 question. If anyone want to note, note it. See next, 44th question, uh, a resistor of 10 ohm and an inductor of self-inductance 0 0.05 Henry are connected in series to an AC source of 200 volt and 50 hertz. Find the impedance of the circuit and current in the circuit. See given things written here, all. remember any time of voltage along with frequency given means VRMS or voltage variable frequency mentioned means VRMS. So, in this Excel formula, we used inductive reactance 2 pi FL, F substituted, L substituted, we got this. Next, Z is equals to impedance under root R square plus actually XL minus XC whole square, we can write. C not there, no, only XL square we can write. So, R square, XL square. R square given 10, XL square we, we can get here 5 pi we can get or otherwise directly 15.71 also you can substitute no problem okay so then you will get 18.62 ohm then current is nothing but a vrms by z v by r ohms law formula vrms by z vrms substituted z substituted will get current this is about 44 45 double convex lenses are to be manufactured and refractive index of glass given both faces of same radius of curvature given and find the radius of curvature uh, required focal length to be 20 centimeter 
Also find new focal length if this lens is uh, immersed in water of refractive index 1.33. See, first we are finding uh, initially whenever it is in air focal length uh, substitution and radius of curvature finding. See here NG given, NA given, R, what and all given things we written. And you know convex uh, surface, uh, if you take a convex lens like this, uh, convex lens, one side positive, another side negative will come radius of curvature. That's why R1, R, R2, minus R. This side negative, this side positive we will take. So, here 1 by F, NGA, refractive index of A1, that's why constant, no need to give, we can take directly. NGA 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. 1 by F same, NGA means NG minus 1 we can write because A value 1 refractive index. So 1 by R, R1 means 1 by R minus of minus 1 by R, R2 means. So 1 by R minus of minus 1 by R means plus 1 by R. So finally what will come this one? 2 by R will come. So then uh, we are finding R, no? R is equals to this uh, total we are multiplying the C. R taking this side, uh, F multiplied that side. 2 F N G minus 1, one side, these three, one side, R this side. So R is equals to F value given in centimeters converted into meters, 0 0.2. N G value 1.5, 5 minus 1. So finally after calculation, 22 centimeter will come. Next, uh, new focal length in water. Uh, now the lens is immersed in water. That's why refractive index of glass with respect to water. Here it is in air. That's why NGA. But here it is in water. So NGW. Same formula 1 by F dash. Same formula taken. 1 by F dash. NG by NW now. NG by NW. Substituted minus 1. This 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2 place. We can write 1 by F NG minus 1. See. Here 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. This one if you take this side. NG minus 1. So that only taken here. Substituted. NG minus 1. So then 1 by F dash. This simplification done. This 1 by 20. NG means 1.55 minus 1. So after simplification we will get 66.5 centimeter. So reciprocal it. After doing calculation reciprocal it will get Okay. So, thank you to all. And second model paper answers, third model paper answers, you will get by tomorrow in next video. So, please subscribe the channel. You can get a second model paper, third model paper answers. Whenever I will upload, you will get immediately notification if you subscribe the channel. Okay. And we are doing the videos also regularly, important questions. So, JWE NEET. So please subscribe all of you and refer to your friends. Thank you to all.